Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'm going to be taking a look at GNOME 44. This release is an interesting release because there's no big major change in it. There's a lot of little changes and improvements. So first, let's look at the quick access menu. If you click the top right here, you will see these quick button toggles have a new secondary side button here. If you click on this, you can get a sub menu where you can choose which connection you want to connect to. And there is one for Bluetooth as well. So if you look over here, you're going to see that you can click this toggle and easily change between Bluetooth devices. This will especially come in handy if you're using GNOME on a mobile device, because you can easily toggle between different headphones or audio devices. There's also a background app UI in this quick toggle. This is their solution for, you know, having things like Discord or music running in the background. This will definitely make a big difference. And again, especially if you're using a mobile device and you want to close out of an app that is open in the background, this background apps feature will come in handy in that scenario. The other thing too, is that we now have much bigger avatars here when you're like in the lock screen or when you're signing into your account. Like if you go to the lock screen here, you'll notice that the icon and the text field is a lot bigger here. One other major change, and this has been a bug for like the last 10, 15 years or so in GNOME. Let's say you have a program and you want to open a file. This little menu is not the file manager, but it's more like a portal to your files. And previously you'd only be able to choose files in this list mode but now they finally have added a grid mode or icon mode or icon view mode so it can make picking a file much easier it is kind of surprising that this took this long to fix i think we're all happy that it is finally fixed they have revamped a lot of the ui in various different settings options here for example the mouse and touchpad although i can't really say whether it's an improvement or not it definitely looks visually nicer, but it's just a menu that I've never used before. And then the other big change is that the official GNOME web app now is running GTK4 and lib 8 Weta. So it's a lot more smooth and it has a GPU render. So again, this should come in handy, especially if you're running GNOME mobile, because now you can use the built-in browser that is a lot more mobile friendly. And basically that's pretty much it in terms of the more interesting changes. As for what to expect in a future GNOME version, there is some very interesting work happening right now. It looks like there's been a merge request to possibly explore accent colors in GNOME, which is something that was supposedly going to be added in GNOME 43, but it never got added. Still don't know for sure if it'll show up in the next version of GNOME, but that is one of the more exciting updates possibly coming soon. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos.